Want to speak real Korean from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at koreanclass101.com. Hi everyone, I'm Jae-hui. Welcome back to Korean Top Words. In this lesson, you'll learn top 10 must know autumn vocabulary. Let's begin. Sweto, sweater. Sweto, sweater. It's a little bit cold in Korea in autumn, so it's good to have some sweaters in Korea if you visit here in autumn. Using that word, you can say, 빨간 스웨터를 샀어요. I bought a red sweater. 비가 오는, rainy. 비가 오는, rainy. So using that phrase, you can say, 비가 오는 날에는 빗소리를 들어요. I listen to the sound of the rain on rainy days. So here we have the word 빗소리. P means rain, and this small shield means of something. 소리 means sound. So uh, it means the sound of rain. 바람이 부는, windy. 바람이 부는, windy. 바람 means wind, and 부는 is the verb to mean wind. So that should be used together. 바람이 부는, windy. So using that phrase, you can say, 바람이 부는 소리가 들려요. I can hear the sound of the wind. If you go to Jeju Island, I think you can hear 바람이 부는 소리, the sound of the wind. 시원한. Cool. 시원한. Cool. Make sure to use 시원한 only when you talk about cool weather, like cool temperature. Personally, I like autumn, 가을, because it's cool. Like, in summer, it's too hot, and winter, it's too cold, and 가을, autumn, is the best season to go outside. These days, because of the global warming, I think, um, uh, the 가을, autumn, is getting shorter and shorter in South Korea, which is sad. So using that um, adjective, you can say, 가을의 시원한 바람을 좋아해요. I like the cool breeze of fall. 가을, autumn. 가을, autumn. In Korea, there are four seasons, 봄, spring, 여름, summer, 가을, autumn, and 겨울, winter. 가을 also has some nicknames. For example, 가을은 독서의 계절입니다. Fall is the best season for reading. I think it's because it's easy to go outside and read something or um, it's cool outside. So you don't have to worry about anything else but only reading because in summer and winter you have to worry about the temperature outside. 감기, cold. 감기, cold. In Korean, there is a word 환절기, which literally means the time that seasons change. Because autumn is kind of between summer and winter. So you can see like in the morning it's very cold and at noon it's very hot. So it's very easy to catch a cold. If you got a cold, unfortunately, you can say 감기에 걸렸어요. I caught a cold. 밤, chestnut. 밤, chestnut. If I have to think about some fruit or things to eat in autumn, I think one of the most popular things will be palm, chestnut. We usually have kumbam, roasted chestnut, and you can easily get it in the street vendor. Like you can buy a bunch of kumbam, roasted chestnut for only 2,000 like 2 US dollars. So after you have it, if it is delicious, you can say that kumbam이 맛있어요. Roasted chestnut is delicious. 긴팔 셔츠, long sleeve shirt. 긴팔 셔츠, long sleeve shirt. There might be one thing that you don't like in South Korea. For me, it was having clothes in all different styles because you have four seasons, so you have to have short sleeved, long sleeved. You have to have a thick jacket and you have to have all different kinds of clothes because you have to get survived in four different seasons. So, 긴팔 셔츠 is the one thing that you have to have if you want to come to Korea in autumn. So, using that word, you can say, 가을부터 긴팔 셔츠를 입기 시작합니다. We start wearing long sleeve shirts from autumn. 떨어지는 나뭇잎, falling leaves. 떨어지는 나뭇잎, falling leaves. If you're in South Korea in autumn, I think it's really good to go hiking because you can see leaves in all different colors and also they are falling and it's very good to see like, because it's kind of making some romantic atmosphere. So like if you are in South Korean autumn, I think it's good to go hiking and see 떨어지는 나뭇잎, falling leaves. So in a sentence, you can say 
떨어지는 나뭇잎을 보면 쓸쓸해져요. I become lonely when I see falling leaves. 추석, Korean Thanksgiving. 추석, Korean Thanksgiving. Like in China, um, Korean people also celebrate Thanksgiving Day. It's following lunar calendar, so it usually falls into September or October, which is in the middle of fall. 추석, Korean Thanksgiving, is the biggest holiday in fall. So, using that word, you can say, 추석은 한국의 가장 큰 명절 중 하나입니다. 추석 is one of the biggest Korean holidays. Okay, that's all 10 must know autumn vocabulary. I hope you use some of them in autumn. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요.